So we finally have Pixel OS based on Android 13. A lot of Android 13 based custom rooms are coming and many of the custom rooms based on Android 13 I made a video on so far. But Pixel OS is now what we have right now in our hands. Let's take a quick look at which other things have been added as yes, it is also an initial build about this version. So yes, if you consider any minor bugs here and there or if you're not having any kind of features, don't worry, in the next update you might probably get some of the new things or new changes. First of all, yes, it's Android 13, so Android 13 Easter egg as expectedly. Android 13 Easter egg was introduced with beta 3 if I'm not wrong and I made a video on almost all the beta versions about which are the changes which you have and also the stable version to that which are the things you have here. Let's take a quick look, a quick look at this quick settings panel here in this latest version in this Pixel OS. Yes, we have the dark quick settings panel. The quick settings panel is not themed. And if you take a look at the custom tiles, yes, some of the tiles options are available and you can simply click and you'll be able to add that tile in your quick settings panel. And you can see the power menu is actually has light background. So the power menu is in light background, advanced system options advanced reboot options are also present pixel os is there so yes you might expect pixel launcher pre-installed so yes this is what we have pixel launcher is not a bad deal and also this pixel launcher is the stock one it is not a modified pixel launcher which means you will only have the stock feelings no custom themed icons and no extra options for you unfortunately like double tap to sleep etc but yes as i just said at the starting of the video things might be changed in the upcoming updates if i take a look at the settings settings ui it's pure stock if you don't know about the stock pixel os it's almost same like the stock pixel devices but it has some few of the changes few of the features here and there i'll talk about all those features for sure first of all as you just saw that it has a stock ui so nothing to take a look at about in these kind of things if you take a look at the ui for example the game space the gaming is what matter for some of the users unfortunately if i take a look at the apps the game settings the game space or you can see the gaming dashboard all of these things are not here so if you're a gamer and you are looking for game dashboard unfortunately you need to wait for some of other builds but right now with this initial build game space is not included as I just said, you might see it in the next update, but for now, it's not there. If I move on to the sound and vibration options, I also found all the pixel goodies. Yes, it is pixel OS, all the pixel props and pixel goodies already there. If I'm not wrong, it's actually based on pixel experience and pixel experience official version based on Android 13 is coming very, very soon. Most likely today while making this video or maybe the day after, you'll see that. Also, this new vibration and haptic menu, which is available in Android 13, it's already there. And show volume panel on left. You can customize this volume panel from right to left. You can do this thing. And that option was previously available in Pixel OS 12.1 also. And now it's there in Android 13 too. It comes with a September security patch. So the changes which you have here is with the September security patch. And most likely, if you see the new update, the new update might come in October. So yes, if you want to install this thing, you can other than else the things are basically same like ambient display etc if your device supports those kind of things lock screen has the basic customizations icon manager let me show you one thing you can enable or disable the icons some of the icons if you want to and it has the option for time for example if you want to enable or disable things like you want to enable seconds here you can it's up to you if you want to use the battery related things you can customize that all these things are prepared it was expected we will see all these things and these things have been added other than other things are basically same if i move on to the security section unfortunately there is no face unlock unfortunately there is no app lock but yes you might see that in the next update too this is about the initial impressions initial build what we have is in the pixel os pixel fingerprint at least there i mean pixel imprint is there you want to enable the fingerprint you can it's up to you in system settings if you look if you were looking for some status bar customizations unfortunately no major customizations are included like no network traffic indicator or if you compare it with the pixel os 12.1 those features are unfortunately not present but all the android 13 features or basically some of the things you just saw are already present you can even enable the playback control and things are basically same these were things which I, which we get here in this latest update and these were things I just want to let you know about.